Welcome to Hadwin's Volkswagen, my name is Matthew. Today I'm going to show you how the Volkswagen app mirroring works on the infotainment system in the latest Volkswagen cars. Today we're filming in the Polo Beats, so this has the composition media system uh, which has Bluetooth connectivity. It doesn't have the built-in sat satellite navigation but it does have the app connect so I'm going to show you all the additional features that that can unlock if you have a modern smartphone. In order to use the system the car is equipped with two USB ports as you can see down here. Both of these are smartphone compatible and they will keep your phone charged and they're also used for data transfer and they're both compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the cable here and plug our phone in. The Volkswagen app mirroring will work with either an Apple iPhone or with an Android phone or you will have to download the Android Auto app onto your phone first before you do this. With the Apple iPhone you don't need to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and plug the phone in. And the first time we do this it's going to say unlock iPhone to use accessories so I'm just going to unlock the phone and as you can see you're also going to get a message that says allow Apple CarPlay with phone locked so we're going to click allow on that one. And then that's the first time we do that, it's going to do that, and after that it's just a plug and play, you won't have to unlock your phone. So we can just lock our phone. The button in the right hand corner takes us to the main screen, where you can see that our telephone's apps are now projected onto the screen of the infotainment system. And we can just use them on the touch screen as if they were on our phone, but obviously they are now hands free. So you can make calls through the phone app there, if any calls are received they'll pop up onto the screen here so that you can answer them. So your phones, favourites and contacts and recent calls will all be in there. We can also go onto our Apple Music app straight from there and we can browse through our library and uh, we can uh, browse through our playlists as well. We've also got the Apple Maps application there as well but also Google Maps if you have it installed on your phone will also be there. You can also see that any compatible music streaming apps such as Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Amazon Music and BBC Sounds are all compatible with the system as well as our messaging apps such as WhatsApp and the native messaging application there as well. One of the main benefits of the Volkswagen app mirroring, particularly on this Polo Beats which doesn't have a built-in satellite navigation system is that we now have the availability of the Apple Maps or Google Maps right on the screen of the infotainment system so even though we don't have satellite navigation built in we now have the, all the functionality of the mapping application from your phone on the screen of the infotainment system here so uh, this is also connected to the internet so you can search for destinations just exactly the same as you could do from your phone Additionally, if you tap on the bottom right hand icon here and hold it down, it will also activate the Siri voice command and you'll be able to dictate to the system here what you want it to do. So for example, navigate to somewhere or to call a contact in your phone. There we go. Another useful feature of the CarPlay system is that you can customise what's on the main screen here on the infotainment system through your phone settings so if you go into search and type in CarPlay at the top then go into your phone settings you'll see that the Volkswagen car is there uh, along with any other cars that you've uh, used this with if we go into there and select customize you'll see that we can actually change what applications are going to be displayed on the system here. So we've actually got two pages as you can see here. Page one and page two of applications that are compatible with the system but if we don't use all of these applications then we can we can actually take some of them off. So for example we might want to take off the uh, the podcasts and the audio books and then bring some of the apps on page two over onto the, the main page there. So we can just go into the settings here and we can just remove those if they're applications that are not used. So you can see now that it's removed those from there and it's brought some of the other applications over. But we can also change the order as well. So if there are some applications on page two that we use, you can see just down on the right hand side that we can change the order of the applications on the screen. So we can bring 
for example some other applications that we use more often up and you'll see that that now appears on page one of the display so there's a bit of customization that you can do to the home screen there of the Apple CarPlay system. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time.